Here we go then, welcome back everybody to the next Heat 3 pre-final race of the day, the last of them. Championship season 24 continues for Orange Kart Club and senior performance mid and tag restricted light have made their way out for their pre-final. Up the hill they come, all starting nicely this time. <clears throat> At the first time of asking, wasn't the case in heat number two, of course. Eventually they all did get going. Now we've got to wait and see who has the pace in the pre-final. And do we have a race between the pair at the front like we did in heat number one? That was a cracker. It all up and down in heat number two. This one though is ready to go on track. In one, Cohen Weaver out of two. Angus Downing from three, Cale Johnson. They are the drivers. What was over there? What did them kids find over there? Nah. Oh, oh they're dead rabbits. Oh, was it? Yeah, me sorry. Oh. Mm. He's going through a locker. Yeah, yeah right. That's the play. Yeah. Here we go then. Alrighty, getting ready for a start. They're coming up on the formation up nice and steadily. Next race, remember, will be on the Retro Karting Australia page. So this one is on the Kev Davis Facebook page, live and direct, and also video recorded for the Kev the Noise Davis YouTube channel as we get senior performance mid and tag restricted light. Hit the loud pedal and go green light. Racing and away we go. Once again, Downing settles for second. He doesn't have a bar of taking that front nose off and getting in front of Weaver. Weaver gets the whole shot. And now Weaver leads them down into Jackson by design. Back up the hill they will come now. Through that right hand hairpin, nice and tightly does it. Bogging down slightly for Johnson, but no problem for Downing. He closes in. Weaver still holds. Downing with him again. Cale Johnson not let up yet. Along the back straight away they go. Through MG tyres. Now on to Copperhead, and then rapidly heading towards DPE. Turn one. Through they go. Through DPE Superstore, the right-hander. Now into Tony Agland, the chase. Hear that right-hander and already going down the hill. And now look at this Downing getting closer and closer. Downing actually may feel like he's got some pace in this one. 42.5 to 42.7 is not on timing, but it most certainly is on track. And he's right on his bumper. Weaver, Downing, Johnson, one, two, three. Heading through MG tires once more. Now they come back towards us onto the Copperhead. Front straight away. Through they go. Down through DPE. As the retro guys get ready in the background, these guys getting it on. Whoa, again, he looked up side, side by side. He almost made a move then, going at the exit of the chase. That was very risky for Downing. He thought about shoving it up the inside, but decided better of it. Now he's got the run off of Jackson by design. They go side by side. Oh, doesn't go through. Stays where he is. Weaver, Downing, one, two. Johnson, three. to MG Tyres and once again these two having a cracker battle and the reversal of Heat 1 wasn't quite as exciting as this in Heat 2 but Heat 3 has lit it up down the hill they go through the Tony Aglan chase now through that right hander again once again Angus Downing right on his bumper 41.047 to Weaver 41.006 to Downing any moment now they might end up doing identical times it's getting that close Weaver Downing up through retro karting Australia Whoa, again he just gets it wrong out of there Weaver the little error Allows Downing to pull up right behind his bumper. Along Copperhead once more, through they go. Third place car behind them, still Johnson. 
And don't forget, uh, the Woodward and Lichtenberger family, Retro Karting Australia page for the next heat. Not this page. We're on Retro Karting Australia's group page for all of the retro races. On they come. Yeah, he's going to get him side by side again. Once again, Downing. Oh, does he go through? Oh, they're still side by side. And eventually he gets it done. Downing, he had two bites at it. And eventually got it done. Weaver had to yield. And now he's got to fight back. On they come. Downing now leads from Weaver, from Johnson, in three. Tails times, as I'm pretty sure he's flat, no lift through turn one of DPE now, pushing out 41.619s. He could well get into the 40 if he just pushes that bit harder. Meanwhile, the leader pair still pushing on, and that just bogged down once again for Weaver. Coming off that hairpin, seemingly looking very difficult to get the power down off such a slow corner. Downing, holding, whoa, look at the line change from Weaver. Weaver then just cut that corner off and got real close once again. Weaver again, right up his bumper. Nothing between a 0.175 on the clock, but then it's down through the Tony Aglan chase, and to the right hander and into Jackson by design the hairpin, that is six laps in, half race distance achieved. Up the hill they come, heading to retro karting in Australia's right hand, then two left handers, and then along this short back straightaway, Downing, Weaver, Johnson, your one, two, three. Two of them, remember, are tag restricted lights. One of them is senior performance mid, and that is the Downing car. So he's uh, having to play hard and play fair with the tag restricted lights. Through goes Johnson, slight pop as he went through, so a little bit of a backfire on it. As the leader's already going through, Jackson by design. Now they come back up the hill once more, and again, Downing leads the way from Weaver. That is your one two, and they've done 40.6. The pair of them, 636 to Downing, 690 to Weaver. It is that close. And still that close. Weaver once again in the slipstream. He's under the bubble. Will he get a run through DPE? Can he close him down again? Closing. And then just backs it off. Through the Tony Aglan chase. Through goes Kale Johnson. That will be four to go. Eight laps in the bag. This is lap number nine. Oh, again, Weaver tried the inside line, but he got caught out. And with that manoeuvre, it's cost him dear. That's cost him at least four cart lengths. And now I'm thinking Weaver will not recatch that gap, surely from there. Downing, Weaver, one, two, but the gap, 0.175. What is it this time? Slightly closer as they go through DPE, whilst also now coming over the line and 4.38 is the gap as Johnson comes over now. Kale through DPE, just missing that curb. 42 second laps, he's backed off slightly. Now Weaver once again has caught Downing. Weaver is not going to give up this hunt. Still two remaining. The completion of this is lap number 10, remember. And he is not going to give this up every time he gets to one of these corners before the start finish line. He changes his line, looking different route. He isn't going to go the conventional route. He's just going to go any which way but loose. As they go down through the Tony Aglan chase, just gets it wrong through there. Has to correct himself. Downing breaks away slowly again. 0.237 was the gap, but he extended it into that right-hander. Now he's away from him again. Up the hill they come into retro cart in Australia. Right, left, left, and that back onto this top back straight away. Through they go then. Now they will see. One to go. It's on to the last lap. Weaver has gone again. Look at the line change. Again, he is on his bumper. Weaver having another go. Downing holds him off. He's got one last chance. Last lap time. Downing, Weaver, one, two. B3 still for Johnson. There is Kale. 
Clustering over the line with a problem, so something's not quite right. Meanwhile, Downing did hold him through the hairpin of Jackson by design. Surely that's it from there, because it would be one hell of a move through MG tyres if Weaver takes a stab at it. He won't from here. They both win their classes, and it is Heat 3, your pre-final. Winner, Cohen Weaver, winner on track, Angus Downing. So Downing takes the win on track, they both take the win in their classes, and second will be Cale Johnson in the tag restricted lights.